All right, just a, haven't done an update for a while, so here's an update on our system, Peace Lutheran College Aquaponics System. Um, we've got a lot of Kang Kong, uh, both as a food for humans and for fish. We've got fish who are vegetarian in nature and um, are doing well feeding off of this stuff. So basically they're growing their own food. In this grow bed, we have a pawpaw in the middle. This is the miracle fruit. Uh, you chew that, fruit, the fruit from this plant, and um, anything sour tastes sweet for up to an hour. And you have the strawberries flowering nicely. There are just some salad greens, um, shallots. And that's supposed to be chili, bird's eye, but it's not doing it very well. And a tiny little tomato. Here we have a variety of watercress, more Kang Kong, a different variety of watercress, watercress again. Now here we have yet more strawberries, another purple, and this twig here. And this one up here is the miracle fruit. I mean, miracle tree, different to the miracle fruit. And all of this here is pretty much gone wild. More watercress, a lot of mint, more strawberries. This is a rose apple, trying to grow. and eggplant and we have pot leaves an improved tank a duckweed tank that's got a few red claw in it now and a tank ready for our barramundi which we got earlier today but they're just too small to put in there and then a banana and here we have um, a yellow, the small yellow dragon fruit with some Kang Kong. Right, this is the newest tank. The water comes in through there, down to the bottom of this tank, then overflows from the top into this grow bed through there. That's the tank. All these tanks have had to be rat proof because we've got a rat called the white tailed rat which has been eating our stock. That area is still under construction or reconstruction as you can see. Our fish food we bought today, our sump tank, all the water gushing back. And this tank here, just waiting for fish, the perch, the jade perch, will be moved to this tank in the not too distant future. And that there is where our baby barramundi are. These tanks will all be ripped out and converted to flood and drain in the next two to three weeks, we hope. And those strawberries we've decided we are going to remove. They've done well, but we're over them now. And that's basically what the system looks like now.